Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Uh, so I'm going to keep making this disclaimer as we film videos today. You will see us looking exactly like this in probably five videos. <laughs> Don't know what to tell you there. We need to remember to film our Natasha and turn it after. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> but today we are going to do our 21 in 2021 project fan update number, what, two? Three? Three? I don't know how many updates have we done. <laughs> um, so in this project, I have 10.5 items. She also has 10.5 items, so not 20 each, anything like that. Um, but yes, let's just get into it. Um, first off here, I have my NYX Born to Glow foundation. Um, I still, I can't mark this. I can't really see where I'm at, but it is feeling more and more empty. Like, I definitely, I think it's lower than halfway. Um, I have been using this quite a bit. I think this month I slacked off on it a little more than normal months because mm -hmm. I'm focusing on another, like a skin tint I'm working on in our uh, project inclusive, but uh, definitely I've been enjoying this, although I haven't been wanting to reach for it necessarily because <laughs> I've, I've been wanting to do more no foundation type looks. Like I don't want a lot of coverage anymore at all. I go through phases. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I want coverage. Other times I'm like, oh, I don't want don't coverage. Want coverage. So, yeah. This has been kind of a roller coaster, but it's still a decent foundation. I still have no problems like working on it any longer. Do you want to hand me that blue um, nail polish? Yeah. I'm marking mine now. Yeah. Wow. Got it. <laughs> um. Anyway, so this second line, I'm not going to touch it, is where I'm at now with my Natasha Denona Foundation X in the shade 42. Um, I really, really like this foundation. I didn't think I would um, when I bought it. Like, I bought it because I was curious about it, and I don't really have any matte foundations. Um, I have the Oma, the Oma Beauty one um, now, but this was my only one at the time, and I wanted something to kind of mattify me. because So this one's going to be really good in the summer because um, it's more of a long-wearing foundation. I typically mix it with an oil... Um, but because matte doesn't work for us really. Yeah, but in the summer when I'm sweating, I probably won't mix it like that. Um, just because, but I don't really go outside in the summer when I'm wearing makeup, but like who knows. Um, <laughs> um, but I am really, really liking this. I have no issues continuing to use it. Um, I feel as if it's going to take me a while, but I'm going to keep trying because I only, this is a really, um, thin formula, so you have to use a lot to get a lot of coverage, uh, but I don't want a lot of coverage, so I don't use a lot, so um, that hinders the progress. I use like a pump, maybe a pump and a half for my full face, so you know, but we're going to keep trucking along. I like her. Next I have my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer. Um, I literally have no idea where I'm at on this. <laughs> I feel like it's getting, I've been saying this, the doe foot is getting drier. Oh, it's, de okay, okay. Oh yeah, it definitely It's is. definitely getting drier. I would imagine this will be gone by next month. Yeah, that looks pretty dry in there. Awesome. I can't wait to stop using this because I have another one in backup that I... <laughs> <laughs> this is my Glossier Stretch Concealer in the shade G11. Uh, I've made hella progress on this. It'll be done by next month. Um, Holy moly. It's almost gone. Um, I use this a lot, and I used it the other day as a foundation when I was paler, and it was stunning. Um, but yeah, I use this as a um, layering concealer, so I don't typically use this on its own. I use it with my Neutrogena concealer in our other project pan, um, but I, I do love this concealer a lot. It will I will probably repurchase it at some point, but once it's gone, I'm going to work on other things. Okay, and then this is my Amuse Cosmetics eyeshadow primer. Um, I mean, there's definitely less in here, but there's no real like visual progress like on this, or anything. I would say. Um, I found that, I thought it's been a whole roller coaster figuring out how to work with this primer. So I thought at first that it didn't work for me. So I started using it with a dry sponge, which made it work better. Um, Cause every time I would use my fingers or a brush or a wet sponge, it would be too much because you only need a very tiny amount of this for it to be an effective primer. So I literally have to tap my finger in like that. And that's all I need. Like I can't, I can't layer this for like really opaque coverage or anything like that. Otherwise, my eyeshadow creases in like five seconds. So because of that, this is going to be very, very hard to finish, but I don't mind working on it. It's just not going to be an exciting yeah. product. Um, kind of same story with my MAC Paint Pot. I mean, I'm def I've definitely expanded the pan. You know, I'm using it. We're having a good time. Um, I'm not, ex I, I don't care how fast I finish it. You know what I mean? Like, it's an eye primer. It's something I'm going to use every day regardless, so it's not... 
it's not like I have like 10 other eyeshadow primers that I'm like begging to use like an eyeshadow palette or you know foundations or blushes or whatever like you know I'm just using it I'm having a good time it's working well for me um, I've actually found so we have really oily eyelids <laughs> for our dry skin and so our eyeshadow always creases which is why we're such a whore for the wet and wild primer well I've actually found that putting my moisturizer on my eyelids helps with the creasing, which it used to, I used to think that that was what was causing the creasing, but now I'm realizing that I'm overcompensating oil-wise on my eyelids. So now I've been putting like my moisturizer, my SPF all over my, rubbing that shit in my eyelids all day now. So uh, that's helped. Here is, this is my deck of Scarlet Mistake Proof Bronzer in Tantric. Um, I, I don't know where I'm at on this either. <laughs> all of my products are you can't tell at all. Um, I didn't use this as much this month because I was neglecting my Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick, which is on the other project pan, but then I wasn't using this, so I don't know what the power is in that. I don't know. I'm pretty sure this was almost new when I got this. We got it gifted to us from a friend. Um, I don't really know. I don't know. It's taking a while. I still like this. Oh, I probably could do that. That's disgusting. I know. It, it's really leaky. There's probably lots in there. Oh yeah. How much product does this have in it? It's like a the... full ounce, I can guarantee. Oh, literally hang myself. It's the same size as the milk one, just in liquid form. Um, 0.94 fluid ounce. Pretty damn close. So about the size of a foundation. For reference. Well, I could talk about my bronzers, but I'm gonna talk about my under eye corrector first to fit it in here. Um, this is my Becca under eye corrector in the shade medium. Boo boo, Becca's closing down. I don't give a shit. Um, yeah, that's what it looks like. Uh, I'm not particularly enjoying this product. I'm not particularly disliking it either. Um, it's just something I use to use it, um, but I don't really think it makes too big of a difference for me personally and my preference concealer wise. She's I'm Vic, I'm using Glossier Stretch. She's a liar. They work best together. It, they're literally like the same formula. Absolutely not. <laughs> anyway, this is my Makeup Revolution bronzer reloaded in Long Weekend, Long Island, Long mm -hmm. Weekend. Um, it's still there. There's still lots of it. Um, I've been using it mainly for freckles because I. T Listen, in order to get use out of the three bronzers I'm working on panning right now, I have to first use two sprays of this, then I have to use the other one for my project pan, and, and then, then and then top it with this, it's too much, it's too much bronzer. So I've been using this for freckles mainly, and then sometimes I'll bronze the perimeters of my face with this, but mainly for freckles, so. You should start under contouring with the milk makeup stick. That's a good idea. Though. Maybe I'll start under contouring with the milk makeup stick. <laughs> oh my god, who told you that? That's such a good idea. I made that up. Um, this is my Salt New York palette, but I'm working on the shade medium specifically. I'm pretty sure I have decent progress on this, but honestly, ever since the pan was there, was there, I just feel it's the same. Um, this is one of my favorite bronzers in existence. I will continue to happily use this with no issues. I I adore and we got a back up so it works. Oh yeah. Um, this is my ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Growth Flirt. Um, still pan. I feel like it hasn't changed at all. Uh, but you guys, I wear massive amounts of blush. Like this is this is natural blush today. This mm -hmm. is very natural for me. How does this look the same? I've used it too. I swear to God, it's not moving. I think it's moving. It probably is. It just doesn't look like it to me. Maybe when I look back on pictures, I'll disagree, but. I swear it's not moving at all. <laughs> I still really like it though. I like this color. This is my BH Belgian Waffle palette. I now have two massive pans. Thank God. Um, I'm not working on the highlighters, just the bronzers. Um, the lightest one is pretty fair for me, so it's not something that I get a ton of use out of. Um, but there's a pan in it because I used it, um, like when I body bronze, when I bronze my chest, um, I'll use one of whatever project pan bronzer I have to do that. Um, and I'll use this to set my chest beforehand. That way it doesn't get patchy. So like that's how I've used it. And I also use it to blend out another bronzer if I really need to, like the Free Physicians Formula one, because that formula is terrible for someone named Physicians Formula. Um, but yeah, I'm getting I'm getting good use out of this. I'm I'm not I would like it to be gone. Like now. <laughs> Another product I've made 
literally no progress on. No, no <laughs> progress. Uh, this is my Dose of Colors uh, highlight in Soulmate. Um, I have been using this. It's just, I like, okay, so I still like powder highlights, but I don't love a standard powder highlight like this, like a standard metallic. When I use uh, a powder highlight, I like something that has glitter in it. <laughs> like I want it to be intentionally really bold. Other than that, I'll just use a cream or a liquid. Um, so I've been using this, but I, I literally will take whatever brush I did bronzer or blush on, and then I will just like dab it in there once or twice and just sweep that around my face. Um, and I like the effect that gives, like I did uh, like a more intense version of that today and I have it like all over my chest, but I don't, I'm never going to finish this. And there was a time where I thought I was going to finish this. I'm glad I did not buy a backup though, because this is going to take me five freaking years to finish. I, I don't see a dent. I literally don't see a dent. Vic, you're literally, if I stuck my nail in there, you would hit pan. Okay, you are very close to hitting pan. Use a dual fiber brush. Wait, maybe that is pan right there. That. I think that might be. I think we have a small pan, everyone. Hold on, I'm turning on my flashlight. It's a pan. I mean, I'm gonna touch it. The pan's gone now. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is. No, I'll talk about that last. <clears throat> this is my Nude Sticks Nudies Bloom Blush in Sweet Peach Peony. Um, I've been using this consistently, but it is, uh, I think, moving. I'll have to look back at pictures. Um, but yeah, I, I do really like this. I'm not really struggling to pan this. Um, it leans pretty um, peachy, which makes it really good to mix with other blushes. So I typically just mix it with another cream blush, like a more pigmented one or a more toasty one or whatever I want to like change the tone or I'll use a powder blush and use this on top to make it look like I didn't use a powder blush like whatever works um but yeah I still love this formula love this product however in the future I'll just buy the shop my say ones this is the little this is my half this is the AOA glow baby liquid highlighter in one of the shades morning glow um this is gone now I finally finished this up honestly I'm sure something would come out if I squeezed it but I'm not going to do that because I'm done it was done when I tried to squeeze it out last time so it's now done it's and I'm done now. going to attempt it again. Um, even though this isn't like, I wasn't going to make this rolling style, I'd roll something else in because I can't. Um, <laughs> and this is the Marc Jacobs uh, Mini Dew Drops in Do You, just like the original shade. Uh, I loved these, so I don't foresee a problem finishing this up. And it's a pump version, so I can actually see the progress. Mm. This is my e.l.f. Seriously Satin Lipstick in Cream. Um, I don't like this. I don't think it looks good. I don't love the formula. Like, the formula's fine, but, like, I don't like the color. Um, however, we got some Danessa Myrick stuff, so I just top it on top and we good to go, baby. So, um, I've made pretty decent progress. I will continue using this every day, well, every time I do my makeup, uh, until it's gone. I used it as a blush once. Uh, terrible as a blush. So my lipstick is almost done, which is really exciting. This is Glossy Fawn from L'Oreal in the Color Shine formula. Um, so <laughs> I've been going through this whirlwind with the lip liner as well. I didn't like this anymore because I felt like it was too warm toned on me. Like I felt like it always pulled really, really orange. I love it now. Like I'm literally wearing it right now. I love it. It's so pretty. <laughs> this is a perfect combination for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's it's down to the nubbins here. So I think if I really focus, I think it'll be gone by next month, which is kind of sad now. And I lost coconut plump, which is my favorite one. This is my next lip liner in espresso. Um, as always, I have decent progress. I use lip liner a lot. <laughs> Uh, every time I do my makeup and I use a lot of it. Uh, I'm very particular about the way I like my lips to look so uh, I, I just I love lip liner and I have no issues using this for the rest of eternity uh, but it won't last that long so that's that's cool. And then my lip liner um, is definitely still bigger than hers but I feel like more progress the progress it? is... Do you? I just counted 11 when you did that. Yeah, ten and a half. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, so you're good. Um, yeah, anyway, <laughs> this is my old front of Paradise lip liner. Uh, I've been making really good progress on this now that I like it. <laughs> it's been going a lot better, so I don't foresee this being a problem to finish up. I'm going to give it three months. It's going to take a minute, but I will get there eventually, assuming that I don't suddenly start hating this lip combo. You have your Sigma liner. That's what you're missing. I thought I counted 10. Well, 10 and a half. So, well, I thought I counted 10 and a half. Ugh. 
this is my mini. This is the Nude Sticks uh, gloss in Nude 04. I haven't used this. <laughs> I haven't used this. <laughs> um, I really like it, but only like on its own. I like it on its own. I don't love it with other lipsticks, only because it's very warm toned and I uh, clearly don't love a warm toned lip. So um, that's the issue. Um, so maybe when I get over myself, uh, and my big lips, I will put this on. Uh, this is my Sigma Wicked Gel Liner. I forgot this was in here. Um, I've used it. You might be able to tell. <laughs> I haven't been using it as much recently, but I'm still using it. We're still <laughs> using it. This is gonna take like an eternity to finish. I don't know why this year I was like, I'm gonna choose all hard products. Yeah, I don't know what you were on. Literally. <laughs> So this is my Neutrogena Radiant Primer Serum. Uh, this was the primer that I used up. Uh, I also used it as foundation mixer. Very lovely. So I am going to toss this in our empty bin and I'm going to roll in our L'Oreal True Match Looney Glotion in the shade 903 Medium Glow. Literally a beautiful product. One of the best drugstore glowy primer base products you could ever get. It's so nice. Um, even like people with more like Vic skin tone, like fair skin. Um, well, she's a little bit tanner today, but normally people with like fair skin still really like this. It just gives you like a nice warmth, but it's not orange and it's not overly there. It's so pretty. So I'm gonna use this as my primer because now that we have um, Auric, my Auric. There, I just, that one works for me as a foundation better than this one because it has a little bit more like coverage. So um, that's what this looks like and uh, I love it. So I'm rolling it in. Even though this is not a rolling style project, I want to get through some shit. So <laughs> we're so going to get a rolling shit. style. That's all though. Yeah, that's all from us. Uh, we are uh, slowly but surely making progress. This one's not as fast as the other ones, but our products are a little bit bigger. A little more difficult. Yeah, they're more time just, consuming for sure. Yeah, it's not just like primers and concealers because those are like a little bit easier to go you can through. fly through that stuff, you know? Yeah, but like bronzers? When we're blonde? Huh. Mm -hmm. Rough. Funny. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in our next Project Pan update uh, in the same outfit. Bye. <laughs>